See, the demonic rarely looks demonic. And if we could just talk about our individual lives for a minute, we could probably all tell stories just like that. Here's what got me in trouble. It didn't look bad when I started. Here's where I got hung up at. And when I started, it didn't look bad. It felt good. It felt right. It felt okay. I was believing a lie. See, the Bible says that Satan blinds the eyes of unbelievers, but it, we, and we always think about unbelievers means you know, people who aren't saved yet, as in believers and unbelievers. But it, it could be people who know, call themselves followers of Christ who are saved, but they still are unbelieving in areas of their life. I mean, if you're unbelieving that the battle is not against flesh and blood, but against powers and principalities, then you're going to be blinded a lot. When churches, let's use churches for example, when churches, you know, that whole stereotype where they get, they, they get caught up over conflict because of color of carpet or whatever it is, that's always Satan. That's never God, right? So let's just say everyone in the room believes in God, okay? They, they know the followers of Christ, okay, great. But the problem is their eyes are blinded to they're arguing about something that doesn't even matter. What if I just, I just want to go to church and be hang out? Okay. Your eyes are blinded. If a church service doesn't affect you, there's a high possibility that you're someone will be blinded. That it doesn't apply to you or that it doesn't really matter for you or nothing you can do about that. Or I don't want to, I don't want to, you know that thing when you feel like you're supposed to respond to God somehow, but you don't want to because of, where do you think that because of came from? Where does the fear come from? We've worked hard to create a safe place for everyone, right? Well, why would you be afraid of anything here? But we are. Why would that be? It's the God of this age blinding us so we don't see the light of the gospel. The gospel isn't just, here's how you get saved. The gospel is the good news of Jesus for all of us. 